Want to pay less for onboard Wi-Fi? I'm John P, and here's your Geek Beat tip of day. If you're anything like me when you board a plane and see a little Wi-Fi sticker on board, you breathe a sigh of relief. Well, here in the US, GoGo is the most popular onboard service, and we love GoGo. But if you travel a lot, the price can be a little painful. Funny thing is, they charge less if you're on your phone or tablet than they do if you're on a laptop. So here's how you can get Wi-Fi on your laptop for the price of mobile access pass. By the way, this is a hack, and if you do it, you're a cheater. So don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, now how do you actually do it? I recommend you use the Chrome browser to start with. Before you get on the plane, download and install an extension called User Agent Switcher. You'll see a tiny icon in the menu bar that looks like a masked vigilante. <laughs> this is to remind you that you are now a criminal. Click it and change the browser settings to iPad. That forces Chrome to tell web servers it's an iPad, which is great for developers, but turns out to be very useful for you too. Now connect to the airplane Wi-Fi and use that browser to log on and connect to the internet. Once you're connected, you can switch back to your normal browser and do whatever you want to do. If you want to use Firefox, click your tools menu, then choose default user agent and select iPhone. And in Safari, go to the Safari menu, choose preferences, then go to advanced, check the box that says show develop menu in the menu bar. Then when you're on the plane, click the develop menu, then choose iPhone or iPad. That's why I recommend Chrome. Okay, now you can save a few bucks on every flight. I'm John P. More tips at geekbeat.tv forward slash tip a day. <laughs>